Hey everybody, Dirk here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we will be showing you how to open programs up with a root. Now, in this video, I'm going to be covering two methods. That's the PK exec command and opening stuff with the SU command. I'm not going to be covering the GK sudo command because it's deprecated. If you really need to use that one, you can check the article that I wrote in the description of this video. But let's do the SU command first. So this usually is best done by logging into root. So if you have a system like Ubuntu where this the root user is disabled and you use sudo for everything, it can work with sudo, but I highly recommend ignoring that and using su. So enable your uh, root user. But once you do, you can log into root and then you can start up a program. So if I want to start up the gparted um, disk editor, through root like this, I can just type in the command gparted. And you can't modify disks on the system without getting root access. So this is a way you can start the program up and access it and do everything and it runs from the terminal. And then you can just close it if you're done. So that's one way of doing things. The way that most developers would prefer you to do it though is with PK exec. So let's start again with gparted because it's another it's a good program that people will need to run as root so it's a good example so you can press alt f2 and this doesn't matter what desktop environment you're using i use kde but this will work on on every desktop they all have the same command for this and then just write in pk exec and then you can try gparted now this will bring up a policy kit window or a password entrance window enter your system password and we have it as root. And this works with most programs. Not every single one is going to work, but most of them do. And uh, very basic, but if you need to run a program as root, maybe you need to get your file manager open as root, or the disk image editor, or whatever you need to open as root. That's how you do it. And for more information on other ways, like using the GK sudo command, you can go ahead and check the article that I wrote in the description. But until then, you guys, I will see you in the next video.